Hi, I'm Katie, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be taking you through a 30 minute matte Pilates routine, body weight only, full body. Let's get started. Sit comfortably, cross leg position, and just place your hands on your knees, relax your shoulders, and draw the crown of your head up tall to the ceiling, lengthening through your spine, through your neck. Take a nice deep inhale, and on your exhale, just nod your chin to your chest and stretch through the back of the neck. And then inhale, lift, and then exhale, just drop your head back, stretch through the front of your neck. Nice deep inhale, lift, and exhale, drop your head. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, drop it back. One more round, inhale to lift, exhale, nod down. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, drop it back. And then coming back to center, interlock your fingers and draw your arms up and over your head. So your arms are about in line with your ears. And then just start to draw the arms back, drawing the chest through, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Take a deep inhale and on your exhale, start to draw the arms down, rounding the shoulders, creating a bit of a C shape with your spine, drawing your hands towards your ankles, doing kind of a seated cat cow movement, stretching the back. Inhale to lift, draw your arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then draw the arms back down. So really scooping the abdominals in, thinking about drawing your belly button to your spine. And then inhale to lift, draw your shoulder blades together. One more round, drawing it down. Really stretching through the back, nod your chin to your chest, and then exhale, lift, and Really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Come back to center, release your hands and place your hands onto the floor. Extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. Reach, keeping both sitting bones in contact with the floor. And then stretch up and over. Really good stretch for the side body. And then switch sides. So placing that hand down, reaching up with your left. And then nice deep stretch up and over, starting to open up the body and then release it down. We're gonna make our way to a four point kneeling position. So a little box. So we want wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. So unfold your toes, keep them relaxed. And we're gonna start connecting to the core now. So start to think about drawing your belly button up towards your spine, pressing firmly through both hands. We're just gonna to start to take the right arm out to the side. So keeping the body square to the floor, reach and then drop it down and then take the left arm out. So your palms facing the floor and then drop it down. And then again with the right. So really just focusing on creating a deep connection to the core abdominal muscles, reaching out with the left and then dropping it down. So really lengthening through the fingertips as you move. We're not opening the body out to the side, but you might start to feel your obliques beginning to connect. We'll do a couple more each side. And then last one. And now we're gonna take the right arm behind. So pressing the palm up to the ceiling, press and then drop it back down. And then go left. So abdominals stay engaged and drop it down. So think about your neck staying in line with your spine. So we're not letting the chin drop to the chest now. And go left and then drop it down. And then right and drop it down. One more on each side. and then drop it down. Now walk your hands out a little bit further in front of you. So pressing firmly through both hands, drawing the abdominals in. We're gonna to start to lower the elbows down towards the floor, slowly with control. Engage your abdominals, press through the hands and straighten the arms. And again, lowering down. So this isn't about arm strengthening this exercise. It's really about that deep abdominal connection. So lowering down, maybe you can already feel it in your abs. Neck stays in line with the spine and the hips stay stacked over the knees. So the movement is really coming from the abs. We'll do another couple here, pressing firmly in the hands. And last one. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, bring your big toes together and take your knees out wide and then curl your toes under. We're gonna hover the knees away from the floor. So this is a much stronger core strengthening exercise. So take an inhale to prepare and on your exhale, hover the knees away from the floor, just a couple of inches or so, hold for a moment and now we're just gonna release down. Inhale and then exhale, lift, keep drawing belly button to spine and then release down. Inhale, exhale to lift 
and then release. Really create that tension in the abs, lifting and then releasing, staying strong in the upper body. So we're not allowing the head to start collapsing down. Inhale, exhale to lift. Couple more like this. Nice dynamic way to warm up. And one more, inhale, exhale to lift. And then release. Unfold your toes, sit back onto your heels and just stretch the arms forward. So really stretching out the shoulders, reaching the fingers forwards, chest comes down towards the floor. And then bring yourself up. And we're gonna come down onto our forearms now. So the forearms come underneath the shoulders, hands flat on the floor, and the knees are still underneath the hips. So we're gonna extend the right leg out long behind you, and then take it up. So we're gonna keep the hips square to the floor. I'm just gonna draw the knee back in, hover it, and then extend it away, lengthen. And again, abs stay engaged, draw it in, and then lengthen away. The neck stays in line with the spine, abs engaged. So really reaching as you extend and then drawing it back in. Release the knee if you need to, if this is a bit strong this morning, just do what you can. And again, drawing it in and extending. So really starting to feel the glute waking up on the right side. We'll do a couple more. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale to extend. One more. And then we're gonna draw it in and now curl it up in a bent knee position and squeeze that right glute and then draw it back in and then curl it back up. So what we want to avoid is dipping into the lower back as we're doing this movement. So really want to focus on squeezing the right glute, keeping the body stable as we're curling it up. Inhale, curl it up. Exhale, draw it back in. We'll do another three. Two, keep your abdominals engaged. Last one, hold it up and then extend that leg, leg nice and long. I'm gonna tap it down to the floor and then lift it back up. With control, tap down and then smoothly lift back up. And again, abs stay engaged, drop it down and then lift. We'll do another four and three. Really lengthen the leg, really reaching with the toes to the end of the room. And last one, I'm gonna hold it up now, add some little pulses, so tiny movements up and back to the ceiling and back, pressing firmly through both hands, keep your neck in line with your spine, really waking up the glutes, lengthening through the leg. We've got another five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it back in, bring your big toes together, take your knees wide, and just sit back for a moment, quick recovery and then coming back to your forearms to do exactly the same on the other side. So knees underneath the hips, reset your abdominals, left leg extends out long, and then just draw it in and then extend back away. So lifting and then curling it in and then extending long. And again, abs stay engaged and stretch and curl it in and then stretch and in and stretch. So we're gonna work through full body today. So after this, we're gonna move on to a bit of obliques. We're gonna do some lower abdominal strengthening, some really nice spine mobility work, and we're gonna loosen up the hamstrings. So hopefully a nice all over body. So then hold out on the next one, and then draw it back in, and then we're gonna curl up, squeeze your left glute, and then draw it back in. So keep going with this movement really engaging the glute, squeeze as you lift and then drop it back down. Abs stay engaged, neck in line with your spine, pressing into the floor. We'll do another three and two and one. Hold it out here, extend that leg, stretch it nice and long and now tap down and then lift. And again, being mindful of the lower back, really working from the hip lift, creating length all the way from the abdominals to the tips of the toes. Crown of your head is nice and long still. Another three and two 
and one, hold it up. And we've got these little tiny pulses up and back to the ceiling. So just a really small isolated movement. Keep breathing. We've got another six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down and bring yourself onto your left elbow. So elbow underneath your shoulder. We're gonna come into a modified side plank. So stack your knees together and take your feet behind you so you're in a straight line. And then extend your top leg out long. So we're gonna lift the left hip up and away from the floor. But if that's too strong today, you can do all these movements with the hip down. So adjust yourself as you feel you need. We're gonna lift up. So making sure that this elbow stays underneath the shoulder, hand flat on the floor and then start to lift this leg away from the floor. And your right arm up to the ceiling. And then stretch up and over, make yourself as long as possible. Inhale, and then exhale, you're gonna draw elbow to knee. They don't have to touch. And then extend, lengthen away. And again, drawing it in, keeping the height, keep lifting the waist away from the floor. Or drop the hip down if this is too strong. And extend. We've not got many. <laughs> we'll do another one and then we're gonna change it up a little bit. This time as we extend, we're gonna extend the arm out on a diagonal in front and the leg on a diagonal behind. And then rotate yourself to look down towards your forearm and then bring them both back to center and then rotate, look down, stretch. And again, elbow to knee and then right arm reaches, right diagonal, left leg, Reach, and then two more, extend. Last one, elbow to knee, extend, hold here, drop yourself all the way down to the floor carefully. Place your right hand on the floor, your right leg on the floor, and then just stretch yourself out. So nice stretch through the right side body, and then gently bring yourself up. We're going to move and do the same thing straight away on the other side. So coming down onto your right elbow, once again, the knees are stacked, feet are behind, and then take that left leg out long on the floor. Again, stay down if you need to, or if you need to adjust yourself halfway through, you can do all, all of these movements with the hip down. And once again, arm up to the ceiling, float that leg away from the floor, stretch up and over, inhale, and then exhale, elbow to knee, and then stretch elbow to knee, and then lengthen. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, lengthen. Two more. And lengthen. And last one. This time, hold it out long. And then we're going to make that diagonal movement again. So moving to the diagonal, and then elbow to knee, and then stretch, rotate yourself to look down towards your forearm. And again, Elbow to knee, and rotate to look down. Elbow to knee, hairs in the way, and rotate. Two more. And last one, inhale, draw it in, and then exhale to lengthen, release your hip down towards the floor, the hand comes to the floor in the leg, and then stretch diagonally. and then bring yourself up. So we're gonna to get to work on lower abdominals now. So come to a seated position, making sure you've got plenty of space out behind you. Feet are flat onto the floor. So I want you to really focus on digging your heels into the floor. It doesn't matter if your toes whew, begin to lift a little bit. We're gonna extend the arms out in front, drawing the crown of your head up to the ceiling, belly button to spine, abs engaged. We're gonna take a little roll back. So we're just gonna do a few of these to warm up and then roll yourself back up. So it can just be a small movement, maybe go a quarter of the way and then roll back up and then go a little bit further and then roll back up. So the more challenging part of this movement is the roll up. So take your time, find your depth gradually, keep the shoulders down, the neck long and keep reaching through the fingertips. Rolling back and then rolling up. Inhale to roll back. Exhale to roll up. You might start to feel this in your hip flexors, in your inner thigh area. And that's just quite normal. 
and just means that they're starting to kick in where the lower abdominals might be trying to share some of the work. So find, find your depth here. Don't go too crazy. We're going to build on this quite a bit today. So this might feel easy, but it, we're just warming up. So lower abdominal connection. And then we're going to roll back and hold. So find a position that you can comfortably hold. You've got that connection, the heels to the floor, abdominals scooping in, shoulders are down. And then we're going to reach the left arm up to the ceiling and reach the right arm forwards. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. And then reach the right arm up to the ceiling, stretch, and then drop it down, shoulders down. And again, left, reaching up and drop it down. And then reach right and then drop it down. And reach left and drop it down and then right and drop it down inhale left just one more on each side and drop it down and then right and drop it down hold here we're going to just take a couple more inches roll back and then roll yourself all the way up take your arms up and over your head and then circle your arms out nice and wide behind you this is your recovery and then bring your arms back out in front, reset. And now we're gonna roll back and hold halfway again. So once again, finding a position that's challenging for you, but you can also maintain those connections. We're gonna take both arms up towards the ceiling now and start to open out into a circle, not too large to begin with. The larger you take the circles, the more challenging it is on the lower abs. So take your time. If you need to roll yourself up slightly, please do so roll yourself up try to keep going with the movement and just adjusting yourself as you need to to try to get through the whole circuit and another two see if you can make the last one a little bit bigger and one hold here scoop and roll a tiny bit further and then all the way up arms to the ceiling in nice deep inhale circle the arms all the way back around and then back out in front, shoulders down and reset. We're gonna scoop and roll halfway. So like I said, we're building on this. It will get a little bit more challenging as we go along. So we're gonna take the right arm out to the side, hold it here and then rotate to tap a little bit further and then coming back to center. And again on the left, so opening out first wide to the side and then rotating tap the floor, bring it back. So getting into those obliques now, opening out on the right, Circle, tap, and bring it back. Opening out on the left, keep the right arm forwards, and reach back, tap, and draw it back. And again, opening out to the right, a little bit further, reach, tap. Inhale, open on the left, rotate, tap, and back. One more on each side, opening out to the right, rotate and tap, scoop it back. And then the left, open out, rotate, tap, draw it back, hold here. Couple more inches, roll back, and then all the way up. Recovery, reach to the ceiling, circle the arms around. We are really nearly done. We've got one more round here. Arms forwards, scoop and roll and hold halfway. Bring your middle fingers together, create an oval shape, loose oval shape with your arms. We're gonna really get into obliques now. So we're gonna twist to the right as far as you can, leading with your waist, and then you're gonna deepen it with your hands, come back to center, and then twist to the left, as far as you can, and then the arms deepen it and come back to center. And again, over to the right, and deepen it. If this is getting too much, roll yourself up slightly. Don't go so deep on the roll back cold. We've got another two on each side. And last one on each side, over to the right, twist, twist, twist from the waist, deepen it with the arms, come back to center, the waist leads, the arms follows, twist, 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 and then coming back to center. This time we're not gonna roll all the way up, we're gonna twist to the right, hold, and then we're gonna slowly roll ourselves all the way down to the floor if we can, and then take your arms up and over your head. Take an inhale and on your exhale, through center, roll yourself all the way up to a seated position. If you need to, place your hands under your thighs and help bring yourself up. Reset, twisting to the left and then rolling all the way down. 
arms up and overhead. We've not got many of these. And then rolling up through center. Once again, using your hands as you need to, if you can't yet bring yourself up entirely. Okay, this time we're gonna roll all the way down towards the floor. So release your fingertips, take an inhale, and on your exhale, start to scoop and roll yourself all the way down. Use your hands underneath your thighs to stop you from collapsing if you need to. And then lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs. Make yourself as long as possible. Take a nice deep inhale and fill your lungs. And exhale, squeeze every drop of air out. And then bring your arms by your sides. So we're going to move into shoulder bridge now to get some really nice spine mobility work and also a little bit of glute and core strengthening. Feet hip distance apart. And then hands by your sides. So we want to have just a small gap between your back and the floor and the neck. Find some length in the neck. So when you're ready, pressing the palms into the floor, take an inhale and start to peel your spine, pressing into your heels, up and away from the floor and coming up into your shoulder bridge. You might not come into a full shoulder bridge depending on your level, that's totally fine. Just do what you can and then just roll down. So the point of this exercise is trying to work through each bone one by one. So this is your first option. You can stay here if you like and then rolling yourself up again and then rolling yourself down. So keeping the abdominals connected throughout. This time we're gonna roll up and just hold a moment and just check that our knees are still parallel, the hips are level, and we've got our rib cage nicely tucked in, abs engaged. Reach your arms up and over behind you, stretch behind you, let your shoulders creep up to your ears, and then keeping your arms there, roll your spine back down to the floor, lengthening your spine bone by bone and then just roll yourself up again. So just keeping the arms behind you, really nice spine lengthening movement, and then rolling back down. So as you're coming up, you can start to squeeze your glutes, press into your heels, really activate those lower body muscles here as well, as you're lengthening. It's quite a lot to think about, but just keep breathing and keep trying to move slowly one vertebrae at a time. Don't worry about getting it perfect or getting high. It's really about the movement for the spine more than anything. So we'll just do a couple more just to get the full benefit of this lovely exercise, my favorite exercise. And again, rolling up. This time, hold here. You can roll yourself down if you want to, but we're gonna bring the arms back down by your sides, palms facing into the floor, shift the weight into your left foot. You're gonna bring your right leg to a tabletop position. So tabletop is knee over the hip, shin parallel with the ceiling. So we wanna keep pressing firmly into this left foot. So that left leg's doing all the work right now. You're gonna tap down to the floor and then bring it back up to tabletop. And again, tap down and bring it back up and down and back up. We'll just do two more. And last one, hold it here. You're gonna stretch away with that leg nice and long, about in line with your standing leg and bring it back. Abs engaged, hips level, stretch and bring it back. And stretch, really pressing into that left heel and bring it back. Two more, press and back, lengthen and back, settle that right foot back down. We're gonna stay in this shoulder bridge, so just reset yourself, press into that right heel, and bring your left leg to a tabletop position. And once again, we're gonna tap down, bring it back up, and tap, and lift. Three more, really pushing into that right heel, hips stay level, another one. And then hold it in tabletop, and then press away, and then bring it back and press and back. Another three and two and one. Back to tabletop, place the foot down and gently roll yourself all the way back down. And when you get to the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side, give your lower back a massage. And then extend your left leg long against the floor. I'm gonna, just gonna press the right knee into your chest. You can lift your head and shoulders if you like, deepen that, or you can just relax them down, whatever feels good. 
and then take your right leg to tabletop position. We're gonna have a nice spine twist now. So right hand out by your side, left hand on the outer part of your knee, and then you're gonna just gonna pull that leg over, keeping both shoulder blades in contact with the floor and take a look over your right shoulder. So the knee doesn't have to come all the way down, just so you're feeling that nice twist in your spine. And then we're going to release and do the same on the other side. So just relax that right leg long, hugging your left, pressing your shin into your body, and then take it to tabletop. And then once again, left hand out to support you, right hand on the outer part of your knee, draw it over, both shoulder blades in contact with the floor, look over your left shoulder, and just release through the spine. Take a nice deep inhale and then exhale, coming back to center, and then hug your knees in towards your chest. So we're gonna take the legs up towards the ceiling now. So maybe your hamstrings are feeling quite tight, so just give your legs a little wiggle if they are. They don't have to be totally straight, yours might look more like this, totally fine. So hands by your sides, abs drawn in, extend them as much as you can, and the feet are flexed to the ceiling. We're gonna open out into a straddle, so you can use your hands to support you if you need to, Go as wide as you're able to, or your space permits, and open, hold, point your toes, and then squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your abs, and bring the legs back together. And again, flex, open out into your straddle, maybe a little bit lower this time, point your toes, and then draw them back together. Flex, open, point, and draw back together. We'll do two more like this, we're gonna add on. So hopefully this will start to wake up those muscles in the legs a little bit. Again, if your legs are a bit more bent, that's totally fine. So we're gonna hold here. So back stays in contact with the floor. We're gonna keep the left leg where it is, start to lower the right leg down. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the floor. Just see how low you can take it. And then scoop it back up and then go left, drawing it down and then lift. Flex the feet, open out into that straddle, point the toes and squeeze the legs back together. Drop the right and scoop it back up and then drop the left and scoop it back up. Flex the feet, open out into your straddle, point the toes and squeeze it back together. And then go right and lift and left and lift. Flex the feet, open out to your straddle, point the toes and squeeze it back together. One more on each side, drop down with the right and lift and left and lift. Flex the feet, open out, point the toes and draw them back together. Release, give your knees a hug into your chest. Place your hands underneath your thighs. If you can, rock and roll yourself up to a seated position or just bring yourself up to a seated position in any way that feels good. We're just gonna finish off with a little spine twist now, just to start cooling down. So we're gonna start, finish as we started, sitting nice and tall, crown of your head drawing up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders, stack your forearms on top of each other. Take a nice deep inhale, lengthen through the spine. And on your exhale, we're gonna take a twist round to the left hand side. So don't force it, just go with your range of movement and then come back to center, inhale. And then exhale, just flow to the other side. Inhale back to center and then exhale over to the other side. Keep drawing in the abdominals, keep sitting tall as you're moving side to side. Both sitting bones are grounding into the floor, keeping nice and long through the spine. And then back to center. Inhale, twist to the right and then to the left. And again, we'll just do one more on each side just to finish off. So hopefully you'll leave here today feeling a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, ready for the day. Had a good 30 minutes movement and I hope you enjoyed it. You're all done. Thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know how you found it or if you've got any requests for other sessions, please let me know.